That smells like you are doctoring a wound. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So we've got a fun video for you today. This is going to be a BB cream, CC cream showdown sort of a video. So I have five different BB creams or CC creams here to go over with you guys. So I'm just gonna talk about different attributes about each of these. So like the price, the packaging, the finish, the wear time, fine lines, scent, just all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna run through each of them and also point out which ones are my favorites. Now I have combo oily skin, so kind of like you know, take that information in as you are listening to all this so that you can kind of like, you know, think about what would work for your particular skin type. So yeah, let's get to it. So I first wanna start off by saying that I do like all five of these. So all of these are ones that I enjoy. There is one more that I have tried that I don't still actually have that I did not like at all, but it is because of personal preference. It was the Bosha BB Cream and it's around $38, I believe it's Sephora. I didn't like that one because of the coverage and also the finish. It just looked a little bit oily on me and it was just like I was wearing almost nothing. But if you like that sort of a finish and that sort of a coverage, then you may like that. But for me personally, I want more like medium coverage, like even like light to medium. That was just straight up sheer to light for the most part. So I didn't really like that one. So let's get to these. First one I have to show you guys is the Garnier BB Cream Miracle Skin Perfector. And this is in the daily shine control version. And I have it in light to medium. So this one is for combination to oily skin and it says oil free. So that's nice about it. So this comes in a squeeze tube. The cost is 11 to $12. The scent on this one is kind of like an alcoholy sort of a scent. It, yeah, I mean, not to kind of like stereotype drugstore makeup, but it kind of has that drugstore foundation kind of a scent. Like I feel like more drugstore foundations smell like alcohol than like high-end foundation. So anyway, blah, 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 blah. It smells like alcohol. Um, the texture on it is a thinner, liquidy sort of a texture. So it is just a little bit on the thinner side. It'll kind of like start to move, but it's not like straight up liquidy, but it's less creamy, more of a liquidy sort of a texture. The coverage is medium. So it really does have nice coverage to it. This is borderline a little bit dark for me, but I can make it work. I wanna say I heard that they have an even lighter one, but I was trying to look that up and I couldn't find it, but I didn't do like in-depth research, but they may have a lighter one. So light to medium is borderline a little bit too dark for me, but I do still really like this. So medium coverage, the finish is more kind of natural. So it's a little bit of like a satin um, kind of a coverage, like a satin natural, not coverage, finish on the skin. So it looks more like your skin. So I do like that about it. Um, the wear time, six to seven hours, I start to get oily with this one. So pretty good wear time, but not the best of the ones that I'm gonna go over. Um, one thing to note about this one, it is SPF 20, but I noticed with this one, it settles into my fine lines more than any of these others that I'm about to go over. So if you have fine lines, you may just kind of want to note that. Um, I can kind of like smooth them out, but I just noticed it a little bit more with this one than all the others. Next I've got the Merle Norman CC Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I'm not actually sure about the cost on this because it'll kind of like be dependent on your particular Merle Norman boutique because the prices can kind of vary a little bit, but they're typically around like Mac sort of price range I would compare it to. So just know it's gonna be somewhere in that kind of a range. It does have a pump to it. It gets dirty or at least mine does. So mine looks a little bit nasty, but maybe it's just me, I don't know. But it does get a little bit dirty, but it is a pump. Um, the scent on this one, I don't notice any kind of a noticeable scent, so basically no scent. Uh, the texture on it is creamy, so it is less liquidy than the Garnier one. It's more of kind of like a creamy, not straight up moussey, but moving in that direction. I would just describe it as a creamy texture. Uh, coverage, this one is light to medium. It's lighter than most of the others. So it's not as light as that Bosha one that I did not like, but this one is more on the light side, can be built up to close to medium. Um, finish is kind of a natural satin finish. The wear time, this one isn't as good for wear time for me personally. I start getting oily around lunchtime, so maybe like four or five hours into the day. 
I'm pretty stinking oily with this one, but it's not breaking down on my skin. So it's not like it's coming off. I just look really shiny. So that's something to note. I didn't notice it settling into any fine lines and it is SPF 30. This one is the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done Hybrid Complexion Perfector Broad Spectrum SPF 20. So this one also has a pump on it, which is nice. The pump is always nice because that's just more sanitary. It's easy to use. I have this one in light. So this one, the cost is $34. I don't know, notice any kind of a scent with it. Hmm. Just sort of a makeup scent, but nothing major. Yeah, so not really a scent on this one. This one is more of a moussey kind of a texture, so it is less creamy and more on the mousse side than the Merle Norman one. So yeah, a little bit moussey. You can see it there. Uh, coverage on this one is light to mostly medium, so it has really good coverage. I do have a review video on this one if you want to see me applying it and just kind of like hear more of my thoughts, you can check out that video, but has pretty good coverage. I'm pretty impressed with this one. So light to mostly medium. The finish on this one is satin matte. So it is pretty matte, not crazy, crazy matte, but in that satin matte range. Um, the wear time, it lasts pretty much all day on me that it was like eight plus hours. I was staying matte. So I'm really impressed with the wear time on this one. I really wasn't expecting that, but it delivered really well on that. Don't notice it settling into fine lines. I already mentioned that it's SPF 20. Now something that I did notice with this one after wearing it more, after filming my initial review, I used it a couple of times when I did that review and I really was liking it, but after using it for maybe like five days in a row or something like that, I noticed that my skin is a little bit sensitive with this. So I will start to break out if I wear this too many days in a row. So if you have sensitive skin, I would say maybe get a sample of it first and just kind of see how your skin does with it. But for mine, I seem like I'm a little bit sensitive to this. This one is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream for Oily Skin. I also have a review video on this one. If you want to check that out, I'll link it down below for you so you can see me applying it and hear more of my thoughts. I have it in 510 Fair. So this one is a squeeze tube on this one, so it's not a pump. It's got a little squeezy tube. Uh, the cost on this one's really affordable, around $8 to $9. Kind of depends on where you get it, but, you know, on Target um, online, it was around, I think, $8.79 or something like that. The scent, this one has an alcoholic sort of scent. Again, yeah, it smells like alcohol. I mean, that smells, that smells like you are doctoring a wound. <laughs> It's very alcoholy, so, but that doesn't bother me. It smells clean. It smells like you're disinfecting something, but I know that alcohol isn't like the best ingredient in a skincare foundation y kind of a product, but yeah. And I can't see the, I can't see the things because it's got, I don't know what's in here because it's got this like thing stuck over the top of it. So anyway, I would assume that alcohol is probably high on the list. So this one is a slightly kind of liquidy texture. Um, not quite as liquidy as the Garnier one, but it is more on the liquidy side. The coverage on this one is medium and it's the second best as far as coverage. It's got great coverage on it. Um, it looks like a foundation, like as far as the coverage goes, it looks like a foundation. So super impressive coverage on this one. The finish on it is matte. It is the most matte of all of these I'm going over today. Um, and yeah, if you're looking for a matte BB cream, if you're combo to oily or oily, I think you would really like this. If you're more on the dry side, I don't know because it's, it's pretty matte. Um, wear time, it's great. Eight plus hours, I stay matte, it stays on, it doesn't move. Great wear time. I don't notice this settling into my fine lines and I don't think that it has SPF. I don't see that anywhere on the packaging the front or the back. So I'm pretty sure it doesn't have SPF. And last but not least, I saved my favorite for last. This is the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream plus Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum plus SPF 50 plus UVA, B, UV, UVA, UVB, Broad Spectrum, Physical Sunscreen, Chemical Filter Free, Paraben Free. Wow, yeah, that's a really long name, but it's the IT Cosmetics CC Cream and I love it. Now this is the jumbo size from QVC, so just know this one's a really big one. Um, the cost of the regular sized one is $38. This one does have a pump on it. Oh, that looks so bad. 
Mine is so disgusting and dirty because I use this all the time. Like this is one of my go-to foundations, CC creams, whatever, just face things. It's one of my go-tos. I love it. The scent on it is kind of like a citrusy, yeah, like a lemony sort of a scent. So it does have a scent to it, but I think it's really nice. It's very light. Um, it just smells nice. It smells kind of clean. Um, the texture on this one is creamy, so it's not like straight up moussey. Um, it's just more on the kind of creamy side. The coverage on this is medium to full. So the coverage on this is amazing. It's the best of all the ones that I'm mentioning. Oh, I didn't mention, I wear this in light or also fair. I can use either of them and I like them both. So great coverage on this. The finish is kind of like a natural satin. So it has sort of a, just a skin like look to it. It's really, really pretty. The wear time on this one is around eight hours or so. So not the longest wearing, but I don't notice it breaking down on me. I just get a little bit shiny. So I might have to like touch up or use a blotting sheet or something like that. So I do start to get a little bit oily around probably the seven to eight hour mark. Honestly, it kind of depends on what my skin is doing that day, but I will start to get oily with it. So not the longest wearing, but still pretty long wearing. Don't notice it settling into my uh, fine lines. And yeah, really, really high SPF, 50 plus. So I love this. This is definitely my favorite of the whole group. This is one of my very favorite face products ever. So kind of quickly wrapping up, I would say that these three are my favorites. The Garnier BB Cream, I just, I like this one because I feel like as far as like a BB cream, when I think of something easy and quick and more natural looking, I really do like this one. I think it looks really great. I think it's, you know, pretty long wearing. It's a good price. I love this one for my really oily days. This is just a really long wearing one. It's very matte. And then I already said, this is overall my favorite. I love this. I can't be without it. It's amazing. All right guys, so that wraps up this video. So I hope that you really enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what some of your favorite BB cream or CC cream products are. I think that would be really helpful to me and everybody else reading the comments. I just always love to hear new products or even old favorites that I just haven't tried yet. So let us know your thoughts and share that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.